this operational update, uh, again followed by the interview with Moncafo. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, uh, the answers will be provided by Moncafo, so he's the one that will be giving answer afterwards. So this is just an operational briefing for you, uh, and the questions will be addressed to the Moncafo afterwards. Okay? So thank you very much, Roberto. Thank you. Please use the microphone. Uh, and, and we will see in 20 minutes, half an hour. Okay, this means that uh, I will I will speak from, from the chair. Normally I'm, I'm used to stand and to uh, keep away all uh, uh, the audience, okay, good. Uh, I was given half an hour, more or less, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I was supposed to take also any questions, but uh, that's apparently not the case. On the screen you can see the uh, agenda of my presentation, so a general overview of uh, CAFOR, and then we will get uh, uh, a little bit more uh, in details uh, on the current uh, uh, work that K4 is undertaking here in uh, Kosovo. So, K4 has been present, uh, as you know, in Kosovo since uh, June 1999, so basically since uh, the adoption of uh, Resolution 1244. Uh, it is the longest NATO operation so far. We consider also, but that's uh, the question that you will discuss with the commander, also a very successful mission. At the very beginning of the mission, uh, uh, there were about uh, 50,000 soldiers here in Kosovo. Now we are down to 4,000. That's because the security situation uh, in Kosovo has improved, but also because uh, uh, at the same time, the local security institution have been able to grow in capacity and in gaining the trust of the local population. Currently, we have uh, 28, 28 nations represented here in uh, K4, 20 NATO nations and 8 uh, non-NATO nations, including uh, Moldova, of course. It's uh, uh, not a big force, 4,000 soldiers, but uh, it has been shaped in a way to include a mix of uh, kinetic forces, so basic uh, infantry forces, and uh, non-kinetic capabilities. Uh, we will see uh, later what uh, this means in, uh, in practice. At the very beginning of the mission, K4 was deployed to establish a safe and secure environment following, uh, uh, I would say, the, the internal conflict that occurred uh, uh, since the previous year. Uh, then, little by little, the mission has changed, uh, and uh, our mandate has been to maintain the safe and secure environment that was uh, uh, established. Now it's only to contribute because uh, we are the so-called third security responder, uh, being the first one, the Kosovo police, and the second one, the, uh, the ULEX, uh, so the EU rule of law mission and their police capability. We support uh, the Kosovo security organization uh, uh, in their uh, development, so basically undertaking local capacity building, and we will see in practice what this means. And of course, uh, we support the work that is uh, undertaken by the international community, currently represented mainly by uh, the United Nations Mission in Kosovo, ARMIC, uh, the OSCE, and uh, the uh, European Union. But of course, we work also with uh, a big uh, NATO uh, UN counter team, in particular with the UNDP and with other organizations. K for mission, under the overall authority of the UN.